everybody and welcome to Let's Get Creative. All this week we're exploring music. So all of our virtual programming is looking at music. And in Let's Get Creative, we've been exploring how oftentimes there's a really cool connection between art and music. Today we're gonna to be looking at artist Roy Lichtenstein's Composition 4. Now, not all of his work is about music, but this particular artwork is, and it's really interesting. And we'll look at how simple lines, color, and music have been integrated into his artwork to make a very interesting piece. And then we're going to make artwork inspired by his composition for. Roy Lichtenstein was born in New York City in 1923. When he was a child, he showed an interest in art, science, and music. What do you notice when you look at Roy Lichtenstein's composition four? There's yellow, blue, red, and the artists use lines going in different directions. And there are also musical notes. Notes are the words that music uses to communicate with us. And in order to be able to read the language of music, we need to learn what the notes are so we can play them. This is an example of a musical score. Have you seen a musical score like this before? This is what we call the grand staff. You can see that there are lines and spaces on the top part as well as the bottom part. Notice the two different signs within the lines and spaces. These are called clefs and the top one is called the treble clef and the bottom one is called the bass clef. There are notes in each line and space in both the treble and bass clefs. The treble clef contains five lines and four spaces in it, and each of these lines and spaces has a specific note that is located there. Ledger lines are lines for notes that occur outside of the normal range for the grand staff. Do you see how Roy Lichtenstein combined his interest in music and art in this artwork? Do you notice anything else? So today we're going to make our own artwork inspired by Roy Lichtenstein's composition four. You're going to need a white piece of paper, a black marker, and markers in primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Or if you don't have markers, you could use color pencils for this or crayons. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's go.
hope you enjoyed this art lesson and I hope that it will inspire you to make more. And this is just a beginning point. You can take what you learned today and create your own unique pieces of artwork using simple lines, color, and even maybe some musical notes. I can't wait to see what you made. So don't forget to share with us on our social media outlets. Share your artwork at hashtag virtual purple museum, hashtag purple museum creations. Until next time, everybody. Happy making. See you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.